Hello ladies, gents, and non-binary friends. Today I am talking about the Miss South Africa hosts and judges. The Miss South Africa organization just released their judges for this year and the news could not be any more exciting. Miss South Africa 2021 is sure to be one hell of a show with the hosts and the judges that I have chosen for this year. But before we get into all of that, please do remember to subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. Uh, as some of you guys probably know, I am doing a series on my channel where I dedicate a video to each of the top 10 Miss South Africa contestants. So far we have covered Bianca, Catherine, Chenille, Jani, and Kaylin. And next up is Khotatu. And right now you can go on my Instagram and find a story box and a poll box for Kotatu in order to, you know, just let me know your thoughts and feelings on the girls. I've learned so much from you guys. But without further ado, let's get into this. So first off, the hosts. The Miss South Africa organization have revealed that Niku Panagio will be one of the onstage hosts on the night of the finals. Now, Niku Panagio, I think... He's mostly recognizable from hosting Survivor South Africa, which I'm also a huge fan of. His co-host will be the beautiful Anele Ndoda, who we actually usually see on the judging panel. I mean, she's judged Miss South Africa 2020 as well as Miss South Africa 2019. So she's a very familiar face when it comes to the Miss South Africa circle. But this year she's actually hosting and I think this suits her very well because she is a radio personality. Um, that's what she's famous for as well as a television personality. Recently she did put her foot in her mouth a little bit. Um, but yeah. <laughs> And now this is actually very interesting, the backstage and pre-show hosts. So before the show actually begins, there's going to be like a little behind the scenes pre-show type of thing that you can watch on MissSA.live, which will be hosted by our very own Miss South Africa 2019 and Miss Universe 2019, Zosie Tunzi, as well as the famous the one, the only, Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray from the Philippines. I am so excited for this. These two are amazing women and I'm so glad that the Miss South Africa organization has decided to involve them in this way. So if you don't want to miss out on all of the behind the scenes madness, um, then go ahead and watch them on MissSA.live, which will start at four o'clock and the official Miss South Africa finals starts at around five. Moving into the actual judging panel now. The actual judging panel has been such a talking point in the past few hours since the Miss South Africa organization released the details on it. So the very first person that I wanted to talk about on the judging panel is Deneo Renak, who is a famous radio and television personality in South Africa. Joining her is Shannon Esra, who is a South African actress as well as Mamo Kheti Paking, who is the Vice Chancellor Professor at the University of Cape Town. Also on the judging panel, and I'm very excited for this one, is the one, the only, Basetana Kumalu, who was Miss South Africa 1994. If you're South African, then you would know that 1994 was a very significant year in South African history. We also have the absolutely gorgeous Tamron Green, who was Miss South Africa 2018, as well as Miss Universe 2018, first runner up and oh my goodness i think these two last women who i am about to talk about blew everyone's socks off i think this is what made everyone so excited for the judging panel for miss south africa this year the first of these two amazing women is of course Pia Wurtbach, who was Miss Universe 2015. Miss Universe 2015, of course, was the IMG organization's first year having their go at Miss Universe. And 
which is of course the year that Steve Harvey accidentally announced the wrong winner. One of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. Miss Universe 2015 is Colombia! I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. Pia is absolutely iconic. She's one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic, Miss Universes ever. And I am so glad that they got her to actually judge Miss South Africa. I can't wait to see her sitting on the panel. I absolutely adore Pia. Lastly, oh my goodness guys, I can't believe the Miss South Africa organization managed to pull this off. Wait for it. We have Andrea Meza on the judging panel for Miss South Africa this year. Oh my goodness. Andrea Meza... <laughs> If you were born under a rock, what are you even doing on my channel if you don't know who that is? She is the current Miss Universe crowned earlier this year. I am so happy that the Miss South Africa organization have allowed Andrea to judge Miss South Africa because, you know, Andrea's reign is pretty short. She was crowned in May and is giving up her crown in like two months. So she only had a reign of about seven months. And yeah, I think that it's just so wonderful that she's getting to travel, getting to see some of South Africa before she has to end her reign. But guys, there is a bit of an elephant in the room with this situation. These are all women who competed in or were Miss Universe. And I mean, that's wonderful. Miss Universe is my favorite pageant, but the Miss South Africa organization holds the licenses for Miss Supranational and Miss World as well. And with, you know, Shani being the current Miss Supranational and her being here in Namibia so close to South Africa, you know, I kind of wonder why they didn't choose to include her in a way. It would have been so easy, logically, logistically, just to include her, but all right. And then there's no one, you know, really from this world. I mean, it would have been nice to have Rolene on the judging panel. At least then they would have one former Miss World. Yeah, it's just so interesting to me that, you know, all of the people that they chose to include, besides the South African local celebrities and such, are affiliated with Miss Universe in some way. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I am so excited for the panel of judges to see all of these big names. Oh my goodness, I wish I could be there in the flesh. <sighs> Please subscribe if you haven't already and if you don't want to miss out on my Miss South Africa Goals series. And also I'm going to be releasing my top five prediction just a little bit before the pageant happens so do subscribe if you don't want to miss any of that just a reminder go follow me on instagram if you want to inform me on your opinions about the miss south africa contestants this year as you can tell i'm very excited about the news that has come out i cannot stop smiling thank you so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next one